somebody has been a little bit silly and done a boo-boo. Little Miss Floof here has been running up and down the stairs a bit too much and she's hurt her leg, I'm sorry to say. Um, I don't think for a moment that there's any break or fractures, although we are going to go and get it checked out when the vet's opening in tomorrow. But in the meantime, she's just got a bit of a limp. So no absolute panic in the comment section, please. But um, I just wanted to let you know, and just as a bit of a warning, because some overly active floofs, shall we say, like to run up and down stairs, don't we? Yeah, I like to run up and down stairs, and so we do our level best to prevent her from doing it. But sometimes she does it nonetheless. And so we really have to be careful. Don't we, Flufel? We have to be careful. So I am um, not, as a, not as a veterinary surgeon or anything, but I am medically trained in first aid and all sorts of other things for humans. Humans. So... I know how to sort of immobilise a joint and stabilise a joint. And I've narrowed it down to this one. Um, if anyone else has any suggestions in the comments, please do let me know. But I've, I've given her a bit of an examination and nothing else seems to bother her very much. In fact, it doesn't bother her at all when I sort of hold and gently move the joint around to see what's going on. But certainly doesn't seem to be up here and it doesn't seem to be in the elbow. It seems to be around about here where she's struggling to walk on it and put weight on it. But she will do so um, when she gets excited and she hears the door and whatever. She jumps up, which is not ideal. Is it, Flufo? Because we've got to keep you still. So one of us is keeping her with us at all times to prevent her from jumping up and down and around and about. Because that would be silly, wouldn't it, Floofy? Hmm? You've been in a silly Flufo. You've been a really silly fruitful. We need to keep you out of harm's way for a while to let this heal, don't we? So no more walks for you for the moment. I'm going to keep you put. And so I've been giving her some chews and things like that to keep her sort of entertained. Um, and just as a warning as well, um, it occurred to me while I was thinking about doing this, um, lots of people might be tempted to give dogs human painkillers and things like that, which is an absolute no-no because... They can, depending on the dose and the ingredients and everything else, can be poisonous and even fatal for dogs. So as a warning to anybody watching and might be tempted to do something like that, please don't, because only the vets, only the vets can give you these things, can't they, Flufel? Silly Flufel. It's being a really silly girl running up and down the stairs, aren't you? Silly. Because she's always excitable, that's the problem. You're always excitable, aren't you? You're excitable. You see someone outside. You see a pigeon. Someone comes to the door. Everything's excitement, isn't it? Too much excitement for you. We're going to keep you out of harm's way and keep you immobile for a while. Yeah? Does that sound good? You're going to promise these viewers that you're going to sit, put, and let this thing heal. Okay? Yeah? <laughs> Good girl. All right, I just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on. If anyone's got any sort of magical tips for these things, especially for this digit here, because it doesn't seem too bad, but that's why we're keeping her in mobile, just to make sure it doesn't get any worse. Right? Okay, Flufo, you can say goodbye to your lovely viewers. They really enjoy watching you, okay? Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll let you know how she gets on. But at the moment, she's comfortable. But one little poor floof we got here. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time. We'll be fleeful. Yes, we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs>